The Saints look to bounce back from a 1-0 road loss at Lander last weekend as they took on the number 23 team in the land at home on Wednesday night. The Saints were aggressive offensively early as Ben Chedji finds some room inside the box and the senior drills home his fourth goal of the season, giving the North Georgia Saints an early 1-0 lead. A few minutes later, Ben Stegman gets tangled up with Laker defender Roger Boniface setting up a North Georgia penalty kick. And it was Max Angel who makes the most of the opportunity, just squeezing it by the Laker goalie Brian Garcia. And the North Georgia Saints take a commanding two-goal lead against the number 23-ranked Clayton State Lakers. And North Georgia seizes momentum early on in the first half. But the Lakers weren't done yet as Ryan Pugh puts the nationally ranked conference rival on the board in the 38th minute. And just a few minutes later, it's Brett Nielsen tying the game up at two, and momentum was right back in the favor of the Lakers. We jump ahead to a soggy and wet second half where Ryan Pugh would collect his second goal of the day, putting the Lakers ahead for the first time in the match at 3-2. to two. With time running down, just four minutes left in regulation, Chris Griffith finds Gray Phelps with a beautiful assist, and North Georgia and Clayton State are heading to OT. As Chris Griffith picks up the assist, Gray Phelps knocking home the big goal, tying the matchup at 3-3. Three to three. In the extra period, though, Clayton State would finish off the Saints early as Matty Phillips drills home his third goal of the season for the victory. The Lakers improve to 8-1 overall while the Saints fall to 4-2-3. and three. Here's Pat Paris on the tough loss. Um, it's a growth. You learn from games like this. Um, and all you can do is just move, move and on to the next one. Um, next game is against Erskine, so we have some time to prepare and um, right the ship and get ready for that.